Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and uh, I hope everyone are fine and uh, staying home safe. Uh, I hope you liked my first real estate uh, video and uh, today in this video I'm gonna tell you like how to become a real estate agent. So like um, how and where to apply for it and uh, what is the cost and uh, what is the duration of the course and uh, like all those details about the course. So I'm gonna tell you all these in this video. Stay tuned and watch my video till the end. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon and uh, share my videos and do comment on my videos if you like my videos. And uh, the first thing is uh, today I'm going to share like uh, where and how to apply for the real estate studies course. And um, before they used to say like uh, you can do anywhere like uh, the OREA and everywhere like uh, you can do the real estate course. But uh, now it is not like that. It is a mandatory that you have to do it in the Humber College, um, which is a um, it is in Humber like uh, so we have to get admission through Humber College and do the real estate course so that is where I applied for and uh, you can go to the Humber website and apply for the real estate you can get all the details um, in that uh, like uh, how to apply for the course and everything like first thing you need to have some Canadian credentials uh, which is like some graduation certificate or something like that and uh, which I didn't have so uh, because I was uh, from India back home um, so I had to do my admission test which is like an entrance exam uh, for this course uh, so first it was like the entrance exam was around the $75 um, which was about the reading skills the writing skills and the math the math was very basic like all the calculations and the percentage and everything uh, which was pretty easy but the reading skills and the writing skills were little tricky like it was too tricky it wasn't that easy as I thought uh, so the first time I didn't even know like what would be the exam pattern will be uh, so I just went through the exam but I failed in the reading skills I think um, yeah, in one thing I failed with very less marks. What is the thing is like you had to score about 75 So that is a pass mark for so it was very hard for me So then I again reapplied for the course again like for the entrance exam um, the second attempt uh, uh, within two weeks I applied and um, I was going through in the Google and the internet I searched everywhere like how to uh, do this test like uh, how to uh, prepare for the test entrance exam uh, it wasn't that much details about that in the internet but still i practiced a lot what would be how to improve my skills and everything uh, then in the second attempt uh, luckily i passed <laughs> with some border marks uh, but it was i was very happy like uh, so this is how like uh, so then i went to the humber uh, website and i applied uh, for my real estate course so this is how it happened uh, and all these courses like um, all these humble courses you need to finish like the duration is normally it is for two years you have to complete within two years all these seven courses you'll be having there is two phases like one is pre-registration and one is pro uh, post registration like uh, pre-registration for the license like um, there will be seven courses which is the basic one so first after you finish this course uh, you can um, take your license you can trade uh, you can do all the business in the real estate market but within two years you have to post like uh, for the renewal of the license you have to finish the post -reg registration course also so which is a basic like mandatory like but you have to finish that post registration course also within two years so the first thing pre-registration also you have two years of time period which you can finish it and as i told you like uh, because of the pandemic i was staying at home so i was fully concentrating on that 
course and I tried hard to finish that course within nine months so thankfully like uh, because if I'm working I'll be full-time working and uh, I won't get time maybe I was thinking like maybe only on the weekends I can get to study which is very hard I don't know whether I'm gonna finish this or not but I finished it within nine months because I stay I was staying at home so which is very good for me also and um, we have seven courses totally uh, the basic thing is like our first course is the real estate essentials like what is the basic about the real estates like uh, um, the laws the code of ethics the record um, uh, mandatories and the everything like what is going on like everything about the real estate it is there on the first course which I took around uh, two and a half months to study and after, like each and every course after you finish you have to take an exam which is um, after you finish the course so everything is online pretty easy like so because of online I didn't have to go to college otherwise because before the COVID you have to go to college to write the exam and some classes also you need to attend in the college somewhere you can apply in the nearby college and you can go and attend the classes but uh, because of all these pandemic uh, everything became online which was very easy for me and um, yeah the first exam I did everything all the course exams I passed in my first attempt I'll tell you how okay in the last stay till the end and I'll let you know how I passed all my exams in my first attempt and then the second course was about the real estate residential transactions and the, again I had to take the exam and the third one was additional real estate residential transactions which was about the condos and uh, the rural areas the waterfront properties and everything and um, the fourth one was um, commercial transactions and between the third and fourth like after you finish the third course after the exam you'll be having a simulation session like for one week classes from uh, 9 to 5 it will be uh, where you'll be having a zoom classes whole week with two facilitators they will be coming and teaching you all the real estate transactions like all the real residential the first th after the third course all the residential transactions how it will be in the real life like they will train you they will uh, practice all the role playing and everything and uh, which was very helpful for us like actually uh, whatever we were studying all those were in the books like what are you studying in the books it is not that much knowledge like and uh, practically if you see it is not the same thing as in the real life whatever you study in the books so when you go in the real life there is a lot of uh, like uh, going on like a lot of things going on like uh, it is not the same clients normally you get uh, you will have to meet so many different types of clients and so many um, different types of questions you need to face so so many things all these the facilitators helped us to practice so they helped us to do like uh, fill up the forms like how to approach the clients how to um, face all the obstacles so which was very helpful um, as I know like uh, they told like before and all all these classes were in there they just study and take the license and go on and uh, all getting practice to all these real life they ha had taken two years for that so luckily for us everything was before we finished the course like we had to practice everything before we finished the course which was very helpful and um, again for the fourth course also after the fourth course also we got the same thing like uh, for the commercial transaction again it was four days online classes they again practiced us uh, all the things whatever going in the market and they were letting us know each inquiries they were helping us like uh, whatever the doubts we had everything because online classes like normally we read everything but if we have any um, doubts or questions also like we couldn't we were just referring through Google or something like but they are ready to help us but still like we were just going on just like that so these classes helped us a lot 
to improve our knowledge and after the four courses the fifth course was like uh, getting started like how to approach a brokerage and what will be like after you finish your course how to apply for the license the criminal checkup the errors and omissions insurance uh, like how to pay and what does after that post registration course how do you how do you finish it like all those details you will be getting in the fifth course so all these seven courses you need to finish within a two year time period which i finished in nine months so i was very happy for that uh, and uh, so how do you pass the exam in your first attempt so here is a trick about so i went to a website like uh, pass it so i'll leave you the description the link in the description box so it was very very helpful for me like i would recommend the people who are going on with uh, who is taking the real estate exams or anything uh, it was really very helpful like um, you uh, just uh, go to the passage website and you apply for it like it will give you so many sample questions like how the questions will be how it is all mal like a uh, multi choice like uh, so you will get a lot of practice i was practicing like after i read i like after i finished my one course so when i apply to my exam there will be at least two weeks of time minimum two weeks of time when i get my exam time so in these two weeks i apply to the pass it and all these two weeks i the whole day i used to sit and practice for the sample questions so all the time i used to sit and read and uh, go on with so many times i got fail marks and all those things so i had to go through so many times so that is how i passed my all my courses in the first attempt which was very easy very helpful so i recommend all the new uh, people like who are doing their exams to go for pass it apply for it and do practice for the exams and i hope you got a lot of um, thing and um, so what is the cost sorry i forgot about this so what is the cost so how much does it um go for like uh, becoming a real estate agent so what is that so almost from the starting i spend like for the entrance exam and uh, all these courses and for each and every exam you need to pay and hundred dollars and if you are taking an exam again you have to pay hundred dollars again so then after that uh, for the registration license registration and um, errors and omissions and the uh, MLS access each and everything like the whole course will cost you around four thousand uh, dollars some around uh, three seven to four thousand dollars and um, I applied for the pass it also so for pass it like each course we need to pay so which was around uh, two three hundred dollars and after that uh, for the registration the license uh, insurance and everything I spent around thirty five hundred dollars so altogether it was around um, um, seven thousand to eight thousand dollars and apart from that you will be spending for your ads visiting cards I know some brokerages do offer those packages uh, but uh, I didn't go for it also I took my uh, I did all on my own uh, so because I had a high commission slip so that's why like um, so I had to do my visiting card on my own and uh, I'm planning to do my flyers or ads on my own so I'm doing all this on my own so all these costs around eight thousand dollars so yeah of course you can make it in the future so don't worry about that so if you have any questions about still more like you can definitely leave comment on my videos and uh, share my videos and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'm gonna post still more videos about the real estate like um, how do you choose your brokerage how do you um uh, whether to work as a team or a solo or is there any questions about the uh, 
brokerage selections and everything you can just message me and i'll leave you my number and if you are interested in buying or selling or anything or if you're looking for any buying property in canada definitely do call me at my number i can leave you in the description box and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel